welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, y'all. Welcome back, welcome back. It's a fact. Yeah. Oh fact. my, who's that? United Arabs. Hold so we got, what's that, Abu Dhabi? Emirates. We've got Emirates in the house. Big up Emirates over there in United Arab Emirates. Mm -hmm. Wow. Big up yourself, people. Big up yourself. It's a late night talk show every Sunday from 9 to 11 on City Lock Radio 89.4. I'm your girl, Letitia, a.k.a. Legs Delicious, yo. And I am here with the one and only... Boom, 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 Miss Lou. Yeah, ding, 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 ding. This girl's the age, yeah, you know. Hey, we got yourself, sis, and we are here with the one and only Mr. Nickstar, five stars, Nickstar. Nickstar who? Five star, five star. You always want to get on. You know, but you got to get on to me. No, 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 no. But I was just checking what you said there, innit? Like I'm five stars. I just I make up my own language some of the time. Just oh God! Oh, don't say that around there, you know. Cause that's what I do. So I got my own words. I got my own dictionary. Yeah, you know. I've been good today. Don't trigger her. Please. Shorten short some fingers down, you know. They say, they say, it's all good. It's all good. But then, what's the fuck? You got when you say that, you got to do the. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome back to the late night talk show it's the second half of the show and we are still here with this the next star so we're going to continue going into who he is you have to hold the camera like that so everyone's up your nose bro. you always say me how to hold the camera like my nose is clean you know i yeah, cleaned but it properly it has to be like all up in your teeth i'm just holding in it all up in my grill <laughs> why can oh, you gosh. pay my bills that is not the same song. That is, it is. All in my life. It says, it does say that. You bet, yeah. Um, you see, making me have to double Maybe because no, she, she did it with right. different melodies. She, she does say right. that. Yeah, I think you just did it with the different melodies. Yeah, I changed it. I changed yeah. it. Yeah, that's what I did. I changed it. So can you pay my bills? Let me know if you... So. Anyway, now Missy, he gets me. Yo, yo, yo. So, okay. So, back to um, Mr. Um, Nick Star. Triple X, no, really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna um, play one of um, a little one of your songs that's um, that you've got here. It's yeah. a short one. Yeah. It's, it's called. Cool. What's it called? Want to introduce it? It's called the Kung Fu Freestyle. Yeah. yeah. You 
you know what I like, yeah? He said, R.I.P. Bruce Lee, yeah? And did the sounds of, like, Bruce Lee. <laughs> like, and obviously, like, I'm assuming you like kung fu movies. Yeah, I love a kung fu film. I grew up on those stuff. Well, there you go. I did as well. Like, my mm. father, like, he had... um Bruh. <laughs> he had kung fu movies for days <laughs> in it like to watch it they'll be like I, I'm coming to you how in shinky jump come in a dragon yeah said the lips was out of sync yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like you're watching the lips and then yeah. watching the, Listen, the subtitle you didn't want to watch it you just had to watch it like yeah yeah, yeah, yeah all day every day days. seriously <laughs> jumping off the roof <laughs> now come for movies but yeah we did grow up on that stuff too for real so like what was your best one like my best kung fu that Ooh. you can remember well right now I'd have to say it's got to be something like Hit Man or Yip Man or something like Hit Man Hit Man IP IP with Donnie Yen do you even know the names of kung fu movies? You don't Snake and the Monkey Shadow. No, that's, that's what you're talking. You're talking about films like Drunken Master. Drunken, oh, oh my god, yo, no, 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 no. <laughs> Drunken Master. Like, if you know about kung fu, you need to know oh, about Drunken Master days. and Snake and the Monkey Shadow. Yeah, Snake like, and the Monkey Shadow. Listen, those were serious yeah. films, like. And you know what? It's funny because most of the films they show you that as a little boy he's been training and he has to go out and get the water yeah. and oh, yeah. come back and all that. You know what? I'd love to watch a Kung Fu now, you know, because I ain't seen one for ages. I was just there was one, I don't know if you watched it. Have you watched Shogun's Assassin? I know that one. And he used to push around his son in the thing. In that. the car? Yeah. Yeah, that's an old school one yeah, as well, don't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Somewhere, yeah. I think it was a Japanese film. That one's, that one's a good, yeah, good yeah. classic as well. Yeah, yeah man. Kung Fu is the one. Mm-hmm. So then you've taken that and you've put it into your music. What made you start to put it into your music? Because you have quite a lot of influences in that song. It's called Kung Fu. Kung Fu Freestyle. Yeah. It's just, what it was is that, I don't know, I had some stuff to say and I thought, let me put a little bit of the Kung Fu charisma over this. I tried to be different. It's that, I don't want to be the same as everyone. It's that, I see everyone will line up outside Foot Locker because these new nights are coming up. So I'll go and buy something else. Yeah. I don't want to be like everybody. I don't yeah. know when I was saying, oh, let me do a Kung Fu freestyle. Mm, mm, mm. I just thought of it. I heard the beat. It sounded like James Bondish. It reminded me of old Kung Fu film. Yeah, but it kind of sounds, it's got a bit of kind of ragged sound to it though. Like your voice is, like you're speaking Kung Fu. But you're talking, talking about Kung Fu. Yeah, but, but it's like dance is in there. Like yeah, I, yeah, I felt yeah. that. I could feel it. I could but feel it. That's just, that's just the roots now. Isn't it? That's when you just... That's when you, I listen to a lot of dancehall music, innit? Yeah. I've it, so sometimes... What is your background? My background, well, my mother, her background is from Barbados, and my father is Jamaican background, so... Okay. There you go. So a mix of the islands. Yeah, islands. Mm, islands. Okay, okay, cool. Have you been to both places? Yeah, I've been to both of them places. Which one do you prefer? Oh, that's the see that they're both. Oh, yeah. I had to do it. They're both. I had to they're, do it. They're, they're both beautiful places. That yeah, like, definitely. You're talking about Barbados, you're talking about Jamaica. They're both beautiful places. Like, um, it depends on what you want. Yeah. And I suppose that over the years, Barbados may have changed. I haven't been there for long, but that's a beautiful island. Like sand, beach, everything. The people were more chilled. Jamaica now, Jamaica's fun. Mm. Is that what I'm trying to say to you? Well, not in the tourist places, but yeah, yeah. in the proper places in Jamaica. It's fun, isn't it? Mm. So, but I experienced Jamaica when I was grown, and I experienced Barbados when I was young. Okay, so, okay. Like, so it's two different experiences. Even though I went crop over in Barbados, yeah. I was still young. So I can't really say that, oh yeah, that place is better. Mm. They're both brilliant places. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Proper was the carnival, carnival. right? Carnival, yeah. yeah. I want to go to that. It's, it's a serious, it's serious. Yeah, but I want to go to Brazil one though. Mm. Oh, I want to go there too. Yeah, mm. but Brazil, what I heard, apparently, is like a whole week or a month or some mad like that. Rio de Janeiro. Mm. And I want to go to the one in New Orleans. Oh, we've, we've got to go to something. That's not it's... carnival. That's um, no, it is. What's it called? Oh. You're talking about the f- that um the show where they do the singing. Oh, Essence Fest. No, that's the actual festival. But New Orleans has an actual Mardi Gras, it's called the Mardi Oh, Gras. okay. Oh, yeah, but they have, like, that black magic stuff. Have you seen The Princess and the Frog? 
Who, for car, real? Black. Yeah, but that's where the Mardi Gras is, yeah, and then they have like the little evil little man and yeah, he does you, a little dark magic thing. Yeah, but like, you ah, know that all yeah, carnivals, all the, um, these countries do some kind of... Yeah, but New Orleans does do that, though, the voodoo business. <sighs> Everyone does it. Yeah, but they do it lots. So it's just out there. <laughs> they do it lots. You saw it from the prince and the frog. Yeah. You don't watch cartoons now. Disney well, is reflective of life. Disney, Disney is. Let's not go into Disney and cartoons because Disney is like a whole different. If I go into it, we, yeah, you know, like the um, the synonyms in Disney's and stuff mm-hmm. like that, like the subliminal stuff that's in Disney and all that kind of stuff. Like yeah, just a whole other. Yeah. You said synonyms. Synonyms. <laughs> synonyms is an actual word. Before you start. Right. Okay. I don't think it's used in that context. Though. Well, no, but I like to use words that sound good. It doesn't. Oh, we know. It sounds good in that, in when I put it into the drop it into my into my conversation. I know, I know you. I, I get you, sis. Remember, I told you I make up my own words. See, that's what I'm saying. Now, that's what I'm saying. Don't worry. See, you have to remember though, the words words are spells, isn't it? So the reality of life is that a word is a spell. So it's not making up words; it's just making the word that's the real word, as opposed to the spell that they're trying to make it so that you don't make a spell. It's there you go. You there the you fake, go. The you fake just make a real word for yourself, and it's not a spelling. It gets me. Well, half of the people outside on the road don't really speak words as in the dictionary anyway. Well, <laughs> but I guess that depends. He he is the comfort thing <laughs> in terms of how they speak. But that's yeah. a no, that uh, story. Well, like, that, that word was yeah, man's calm in it, man. Yeah. If that means you're relaxed, though, no, I hear you still, but man's calm in it. Like. And if it's lit, that means it's on fire. Yeah. I just want to know: is that is is that the Queen's English? That no, man's calm in it. No, but we don't want to. Talk. The Queen is that's a whole. Listen, no, I know, I know. Right. I'm just saying we speak a whole other language. No, we do, we do, we do, we do. <laughs> And then it's meant the to be, words. and then it's, you see, then this is the thing, because they talk stuff here, like, we do stuff on the streets, and no one's not supposed to know about it, and then they just chat it out in the move in the, um, in the, in the, the song, music. in the music. Yeah, I know, that one's, that one's, that one, I, I got a tune about that, I said, I, I, I don't do the bait bars, and, yeah. and so I get charged and burdened yeah. by yeah. my own so, shit, because yeah. I forget to myself, are you like, being serious? That making yeah. sense? Yeah, you, I you. went on the hill yesterday, saw Zach, Zach got jacked, oh, stabbed him in his back. Like, huh? just, yeah. <laughs> That's why you're trying to rhyme. Is that actual truth? Because you actually did no. a rhyme. Like, <laughs> you actually did three yeah, bars right there. And you can't do bars. Like, what's going on? Yeah, she made it done. <laughs> that one actually works. Yeah. No, but that's what they do, though. Yeah. No, but it's true. Like, and then they take you to court and then they play that like, to play the jewelry and then you go to jail. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I saw a video, actually, where someone did a, a video, like a, one of them funny things, and he was saying... Um, no, Your Honor, I didn't say that. And he said, and he pressed play. <laughs> and he said, how do you know John? And he said, but I don't know John. He said, J-. and then he played it again where he says, I know John, me and John went shopping. <laughs> I was like, yeah, oh, that was too funny. That was too funny. <laughs> so what do you say? Like when you're trapped, what do you say then? Talking about like Kung Fu and that. So would you say you talk about real life and talk about your life? Is yeah. it stuff that you want to do? How I, do you kind of... I, I, I speak about real life, like things that I've been through. I don't even really think I... Sp- I do speak about things that I may want to achieve, but not really like that. I more speak about reality within itself. Experiences. Like, yeah, right. experiences. I, I don't really want to do the fake rap thing. I don't, I'm not really interested in that. I don't, I don't find it... I don't find it, like... I don't it's find not it... For you. Yeah, it's not appealing for me. Mm. And remember, like, I'm not a one-track-minded guy, so I, I wake up every morning mm. because my daughter's going to school, so she kisses me on my forehead. I'm not going to get up every day and be angry and spit, yeah, 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 all this angry thing, because yeah. that's a lie. Mm. Who, who lives that life? Every day you're angry, nothing else don't happen, you don't have a mum, you don't have a woman, you don't... So all you want to talk about is violence. That, that's not my thing, still. Can you just say that again? You said, what happens when you wake up every morning? Every morning I wake up because my daughter will kiss me before she goes to school and say, I love you, daddy. And I'll say, I love you too, princess. And then I'll lay down in my bed. Wow. And then after no, that's day. amazing, you know. Like, because I feel like, like, sort of culturally, like, as we always talk about on here in terms of that kind of relationship. Like, my father, he's all right, he's six foot under. Mm. So, make him rest in peace and all that. Okay. But, like, that wasn't the kind of relationship anyway. Like, mm. the, the affection and all that kind of stuff. Mm. No, that just did not happen. 
Do you know what I mean? Like, I have more affection with, like, you know, when you see your friend and you greet your friend and you give yeah. them that hug and that kiss and all that, but you do that more with the people's outside and of the people's that is inside. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But to hear you saying that as a young man, not that I know how old you are. I'm about 27, you know. Okay, cool, cool, cool. cool. (laughs) (laughs) But even for your daughter, I think you said that she was 14 before. Yeah, she's 14. And you know, like, sometimes where you might have done that, like, with the kids going to school and stuff like that, but then as you get older, then kind of things drop off the wayside, innit? Mm. But to hear you say that every morning she comes in and does that to you, like, that's big, like... Mm. Like, for even, to even happen anyway is one thing, but to happen still now at 14 and every single day, like, that's five days a week, definitely. Maybe you get a break on the weekends. Yeah, that's my princess, man. Like, but, it's, it's my princess, isn't it? Obviously, like, I don't know. Like, she knows me. I've been with her every single day of her life. Like, even when, you know, my man had the arguments, oh, I don't want to be around you for this, and we've been seeing each other for whatever months. She still see my princess. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, uh that's not a weapon alright cool I can't see you I don't want to see her are you mad that's my daughter mm-hmm. no one's taking her from me are you mad like, like god forbid no one's taking her like you see what I'm trying to say to you yeah that's a relationship that like, as a man as a parent like nothing should affect your child mm. no matter what you and the other parents going through mm. that's ridiculous but that's just my opinion as well again so no but it's know. a good opinion though yeah. but it's a right opinion yeah. because correct, it's yeah. correct isn't it that's mm. like and they always talk about a man a uh, father being a girl's first love and all that yeah. and you've got to teach her how she, what she needs to and expect and what kind from. of man not to be around and how a man's like, like I, I want to be able to tell my daughter listen love is going to feel overwhelming and like uh, yuck and you're suffocating me and he wants to show me to everyone until his nerves is cool my woman has to know what love my daughter has to know what love is I don't want her to think oh yeah my man just wants to get his cake and eat it but yeah he loves me mm-hmm. no I'm not interested in all of that that's not that's not what I'm there for mm-hmm. that's, uh, I'm there because that's my daughter and I have to protect her and I have to be a man mm-hmm. I have to be there every day in my daughter's life until she's found an acceptable partner and she moves on to be a woman and has her own kids and continues life. Do you see what I'm trying to say to you? Mm-hmm. have to be a parent in my daughter's life. What's my son? Whatever, man. You better know what you're doing. It. Like, I ain't got a son, but you better know what you're doing. It. You're going to be a man. Go out there, sweep yourself out. You know what I mean? Make your... You know what I mean? Obviously, I'll be with you, but it wouldn't be the same as a daughter, innit? Like, a man's for his daughter and the son's... I'm a mummy's boy. You see what I'm trying to say to you? I'm mm-hmm. a mummy's boy. That's how it is, isn't it? So, I think that's just the way how it goes. So. No, it sounds good. Well mm. done, well done. Got the great work. Mm. It's amazing. That's amazing. Okay, so, how would you describe yourself, though, as a person? Um, well, I'm just like every other human being. I can be good. Yeah. I can be a piece of shit. I can be everything, <laughs> innit? Like, I'm not Mr. Perfect. No one's perfect, right? None of us was made perfect, but... So there must be days when I get on everyone's nerves. There might be people that love me. There's definitely going to be people that hate me too. Mm. So I'm trying to say to you, I just describe myself as I try to be the best way I can. And I'm trying to be, um, I'm trying to be a right role model mm-hmm. for my community and for my nephews and for my nieces and, and for the people that look up to me. I'm trying to be the right role model. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to say to you, I'm just trying to be the right role model and even as a black man as well in the community I'm trying to be a right role model for young black males as well like so I'm trying to say to you mm-hmm. because I'm not trying to be another statistic mm-hmm. so I'm trying to lead by example okay. so that's what I try to do you know what I mean that's what I really try to do and that's me so mm. sounds home. good so what would you say is your happy place my happy place is home okay my happy place is home my happy place is making my music my happy places around my family, i.e. my 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 household and all of my family. Uh, if everyone knows next to they know that like, he's got a whole load of family. Like I said, blood only makes you related. I've got a whole load of family. Mm. Like, I can't even start naming family names. I've got a whole load of family that I love for all my people. I'm trying to say whether they're here or incarcerated. So I'm trying to say, mm-hmm. or passed away. I've got a whole load of family, I've got a whole load of people that I love, and I've got a whole load of people that love me. And I just try to be a good representative for those people. The best so, way I can. what inspires you? What inspires me to do what? What inspires you generally, like? What inspires me generally, 
Um, well, right now I'm just trying to be, I want to be a good guy. So I suppose seeing everything that's happening on the road, knowing that well, everyone wants to do live this way, I, I inspire to live that way, what I believe is the right way. So like I said, I can be a role model for the, the right people, or the, the people that I want to see more, or whoever sees that raw this seat is actually living good we mm. should more be like this seat this is what I'm trying to say to you because yeah. everyone wants to be a bad boy mm. but what it is is people don't understand that's easy it's hard to be like the way I'm trying to live it's hard to be good yeah. it's hard to just turn the other cheek swallow your spit make the, duck, the, the water roll off your back that's hard it's easy for me to just lash out on you mm. this is what I'm trying to say to you so mm. that's not the life I'm trying to live no more I was young wild and reckless as a kid and when you start to stop living like that a whole load of shit comes back on you mm -hmm. i don't know about karma or whatever it is but all i know is when you start changing yourself from doing all of the bad things that you used to do and you try to become everything that the purpose of god stands for you have to be very careful of the wrath of the devil because he's going to think you wanted to dance with me hmm. and now you want to go about your business but well, you forgot who I am mm. so everything starts to come ten times harder but there's definitely light at the end of that tunnel if you can hold on you see what I'm trying to say to you so I just try to stay focused that's all I can do and I just believe that I'm trying to do it for the right reasons, reasons. I'm trying to be a positive person so that's why I do it that no matter what that's what I try to do otherwise so what, do you believe in that Illuminati stuff? Do I believe in Illuminati and all of these um, these theories and all of that? Do you know what, to be quite honest with you, mm. I don't want to get too deep into that, but it's definitely out there, 100 million percent. Of course there is um, a higher power in the whole of this world. Of course, there's so many reasons why I won't even want to get into this. I mean, I ain't trying to go out like none of these other people which I to say anything. Do you know what I'm going to say to you? Yeah, I say, but yeah, my mind definitely runs deep, so I'm not going to go on like they don't exist because mm. I definitely believe that they do. Okay. But that's a, just my opinion as well. Yeah, it's a whole nother show, that. Mm, well, <laughs> Interesting show. show as well. Mm. well. We've talked about it before still. We've gone mm. on to the Illuminati because... Um, she likes the FBI to listen to us. Yeah. <laughs> These are, we're not that big yet. We're not that big. Yeah, Nixon gets rubbed out. Yeah, he was in some gang violence. <laughs> got, yeah, all of that stuff. No. Um, so you see before though, just going back a bit, you know like your um, Kung Fu influence and stuff yeah. like that, and you said James Bond. Mm. If you had like a theme tune, what would your theme tune to life be? Yeah. Theme tune to life? Yeah, to yeah. life. Oh, that is a monstrosity, you know that. The monstrosity, yeah. you know. <laughs> Like mine would be like Rocky, like, that is, you just know what? You just nutted nut it on the <laughs> no easy way out, Rocky. That's my theme tune right now. Yeah. Rocky 4, no easy way out. Like, that's, that's my theme tune right now. No easy way out, is that mm. what it's called? Yeah, that's the theme tune. No easy way out. Uh, Rocky 4. What would yours be, Leg? I don't know, but I just like Scarface. Uh, yeah, but what music? I can't think what music goes. Do, do, do. You know that Scarface theme track? Uh, the, 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 was, it, was it violins or is it keys on the piano? It sounds like horrible, oh, like someone just about to come with <laughs> <laughs> like it. That's what Scarface is about to I love that show. Yeah, no, Scarface is definitely a brilliant movie still. But you know what I'd like, like even today, but like yourself, Kessa, she um, did um, a song um, from um, Sister Act. Which one was that? You know the song, um, Happy Days. Oh, Happy yeah. Days. It's a big tune, it's just that still. That tune just like. Mm, that's yeah. a big tune. It is, it is, it is. So that'll be my, my theme song, Happy Days. Mm. Yeah. So, um, or even, what's the other man's name with the happy feet? Happy feet. Because I'm a couple of If you um, feel like happiness yeah, is the feet. Oh, oh, oh. That's not Robin Fitz. Oh, yeah. It's um, the it? other guy, um, Philip. Uh, it's a P word. I don't even know. It's mad to that, that. Um, I know what song it is though. Yeah, him. Pharrell. Pharrell, see, yeah. so do you. <laughs> They're brethrens, man. That's why I thought it was Robin, isn't it? They're okay. brethrens. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> mm, mm. So, do you write your own lyrics? Yeah, I write my lyrics on the microphone. When you say on the microphone, what does that mean? You just freestyle and just that's how the tunes. I might jump on the microphone and start saying, "Yeah, I came to you very, very," and then I stop. 
I don't know if, oh, no, da, 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 and then I stopped. Uh, yeah, that's how I write my lyrics. Because but then, oh. how do you write it like that then? Do you record as you go along and then... Yeah, I record and stop as I go along because when I write, when I, when I write on the microphone, mm. I, I've got a whole load of feeling and I can spit it differently. But when you're rapping, you're like, yeah, I came off the block and I dropped my... Sp-. It's like you're reading. I don't want to sound like I'm yeah. reading. So I don't really write rhymes. When you hear me, I don't really sound like I'm reading nothing because I'm not reading nothing. I'm just letting it flow and I stop there and I think, okay, now I'm, you know what I'm going to do, because I keep doing that, like I say, I'm going to do, I'm actually going to record an episode on when I'm cutting a freestyle so everyone can actually understand what I'm talking about and they would have seen it before because there's a lot of people that actually do do music the way I would do it mm-hmm. and I don't want to act a certain type of way so all I would do is I would just do a tune over the next week, these next couple of days, I'll do one, record it, and I'll just put it out so everyone can just actually see what I mean by write my tune on the microphone. Okay. And I'll send it to you as well. Okay, cool, right. cool. So can you do one now for us? Uh, drop a little satin, drop a little lacking satin, drop a lacking satin. I'll give you a, a, piece, I'll give you a piece. I'll give you something. some beatboxing if you want. I can do a little background thing. I'll just, just, um, <coughs> 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 I can spit you. I can spit you something off of. I spit you something off of something that I'm coming. This is putting you off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I'll give you something about it. So I don't need any books. Um. Ah, all right, cool. I got some honey in the back. Cheese in a hotel, money on my mind. I take a beach if you want. Shells rolled on my life. I don't know about retail. I don't trust the soul. Cause these niggas told that females. If they wasn't snitches, then I probably wouldn't see him jail. That's the truth for the matter of every detail. Oh, uh, you felt. And I put that on my mother cause that shit, you know, and they know. They don't really want me where I'm meant to be, blood. They don't know from that 16 I had heaters. They don't know me from nowhere to the speakers. I'm focused on my goals and all of my dreams, blood. <clears throat> Henny all of my breath. Top shelf in that cloud of smoke. I'm wearing 20 freeze when I step. Ah, gangs all in my lean. Man who dance to do the rock away with the Medusa head in my jeans. Ah, they don't know me from nowhere. My youth, nobody go there. Now my vision that's so clear. Ah, I'll just leave it like that. Hey, 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 hey. We got yourself next. Right, is in the house, y'all. It's a late night like, talk that, show. That, three or four different flows yeah, in there. The honey's got me a bit wavy, so forgive so me. Wait, was that a fresh thing there, or was that something you got written already? It's something that I've put down, but it's Oh, okay, written, cool. Just checking. Because we're like, talking about Henny, and yeah. I know you're drinking yeah, Henny. Yeah, I'm like, drinking Henny. Hold on a minute. You need this pass of Henny in a tin already. You had, like, a bit of singing in there. Then you had a bit of, like, like... Um, like a Jamaican slang, like a kind of like bashful mm. flow, but then I heard like a little North accent in there as well. Like, you know what it is, yeah, it's like when I'm doing my thing, yeah, I, try, yeah. I, I try not to make my tracks boring, yeah. Because if I'm gonna be like, then, 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 for the whole track, it's gonna yeah, get it's a gonna bit, bit jarring, like, mundane, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be a bit mundane, so I try to keep changing to keep everything interesting. Mm. And while I'm spitting my things, to be quite honest with you, no, definitely, that was good. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank no, you. No problem. It's the late night talk show, guys. Every Sunday from nine to eleven. Mm. I'm your girl Letitia, aka Legs Delicious. And I, I am the one and only Miss Lish. <laughs> She's getting on with that Rocky Balboa. Yeah, shout out Lish. <laughs> shout out Lish. Yeah. She's doing her Rocky Balboa. <laughs> She's really kind of fictitious right now. <laughs> and we are here with the yeah, boy Nick Star, Five Star. Triple X. X. <laughs> see, see, you gotta say it, man, before I do. <laughs> yeah. So let's get another um another track on. Alright, dude. All right. Let's see. This one I kinda of say to a last day one because I, I like the sound of this. Like mm. I'm gonna introduce this one. Well right, tell this. me about this tune that I'm gonna play here now. Where did that, that come from? The inspiration for that? Well, obviously, I think it's a bit oh, obvious. This one, uh, this well, no, one. it's not obvious because it could be construed as two different ways. This is when I jump on my um, my, um, my platinum surfboard. I just have to dust it out of my cupboard. Surf, that sounds like Beyonce. Surfboard, um, riding on my surfboard. Nah, nah. It's because obviously, no, like I said, this is this is when I say I get wavy, isn't it? Well, I was trying to say, explain my wave and riding the wave and trying to ride on the beat. So mm. this one, called Little Mama or Birthday Suit. They're both the same. It was just entitled to obviously just make a tune creative for your missus, but 
It just is what it is. It's just, it's just, you just, you just, you just making music in it. Okay. Trying to keep it as as, as you can. As what? <laughs> a, as, sounds as, like there's a word missing. As, as clean, you know, as oh, clean okay. as possible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. That was sweet. Thank yeah, you. I like that. Another, no. another flow, another side. I like yeah, that. yeah. Quite versatile. You look like the little Jack in the Box, yo. You just <laughs> dump it up all over the place. Yeah. With a little different little singling. <laughs> singling. Yeah, I like that. That was good. I like that. Like the background it was like kind of salsery, but then it had a still salsery like... or saucery, saucy. No, salsery. Oh, salsa. Like kind of music. like yeah, South American salsa. kind of flow. Mm. But see, then it had like a sweet little R and B kind of. But then the rap came on, but it weren't rapping; it was a rap sing. Yeah, I like that. That was good. That was good. I was gonna say because from before, like one that other tune as well, it sounded it had like a kind of like a DMX sound to it as well. Like that was that like DMX. Not was, this song. <gasps> not this song. But what you say? <gasps> nah, DMX. You know, DMX is. Um, I heard that a lot though. People do DMX, say that a lot. They, they yeah. Do say that a lot to me still. Maybe my voice is husky. husky. Yeah. 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 I get that a lot. Yeah, no, his is serious, though. No. They're thinking of him. His is like ten that's times. That's my man, you know. That's, that's oh, what that sounded like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could do up the deal, man. Yeah, that sounded like it still. Yeah. But no, I like that song. It's quite, it's, yeah, it's quite sexy as well. Like, I think that so. was a triple X sound of me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I told you, number nine hundred and ninety-five. <laughs> No, that's too far. I think it's nine forty-six. Babe <laughs> station. Why? Why do you know this? I know. <laughs> why shouldn't I know this? I'm a grown-ass woman, y'all. That's what you watch. I never said I watch it. When but you get home, when you're young, yeah, and you're supposed to be. In no, your... when I was young, I weren't faster than things. I weren't. I think she may have just fell asleep and it was the channel changed over in that time. There you go. What, by itself. Like, yeah, you know no, sometimes you these terms are on the um. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. She never knew. She never knew. <laughs> Thanks for that one. Yeah, she was just... <laughs> It's all right, mum. You can go to bed now. <laughs> <laughs> Every week, yeah. mummy's like, are you going radio? I'm like, mum, why are you always asking me if I'm going radio? You don't even listen. All takes a I minute, mean, I listen. <laughs> like, this woman, you know, she's not saying a thing. <laughs> but as you say that, so, I mean, because you did talk about before being in a relationship for 22 years, right? Yeah. So, um, what I was going to say to you is, like, do you recall, like, your first date? What, with me and my missus? Yeah. Well, because about 14 years of age when I was in my missus. Wow. Um, oh, that is sick. That's like childhood sweetheart. Yeah, that was the f- 
that was that's my I was a virgin when I was a virgin. Mm. I asked my woman. Yeah. I asked my more questions. I don't put you on the spot again. You said I'll travel there. It gets yeah, me, but really, no. That's my wife, like that's my wife. That's the woman I love. Isn't it? Oh, I don't know. It's the truth, isn't it? I don't, it's only to hide that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's like, so if you don't remember the first date, but do you remember like what's one of the been your, the one of your best dates? Date, yeah, yeah, that you can think of. Very special. Well, obviously your wedding. That That's, there's nothing yeah. more special than my wedding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't count well, your the, wedding. The, the, the very first special date for me is when I actually saw my missus. When I saw her when she was coming off, she was coming off the um, her, you know, you get the little vans moving you in and that, and I said. It was with some of my guys. I said, you know what? That's my, that's my, that's my girl. Though. What do you mean? So it wasn't at school. It's like from the area. Yeah, no. She moved into the area. I said, you know what? I was chilling. I was with my couple of my friends. I said, bro, that's my girl there. Like, that's Aww. my woman. And lo and behold, I don't know. Maybe I might be good at this little attraction stuff. What they be talking about? <laughs> yeah. This is my wife. Like from then to wow. Now, so that's the ring being married is just that's just, just solidified it. But yeah. she's always been my wife. You know? Oh, wow. mm. oh, that is really sweet. Love really exists. So it's like love at first sight, like Yeah, that was definitely a love at first sight for me still. I wasn't even like to she definitely love at first sight for me. I knew that's who I wanted to be with. So how do you keep it like how do you keep it spicy? How do you keep it Well twenty two years that's a long time. No, but not listen, the X rated version, please. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen, 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 listen. <laughs> Me and my missus, our, our conversations, whatever, and that's our own conversations. That's what I call them, by the way. But anyway, um, no one could ever tell you that being in a relationship is going to be perfect, especially when you've been in one for so long. Mm. You can, you're going to argue, fight, whatever, scream, shout. You're going to be Romeo and Juliet. You're going to be Mr. and Mrs. Smith. You're going to be Pony and Clyde. You're going to be everything. Mm. There's going to be times when you... You love each other in times when you hate each other. Mm. It's not about that. It's just about how hard are you going to willing to try to make it work for each other mm. and try to be happy and still love one another. That's what that matters. Like, how hard are you two going to do this? You see, no relationship is going to be perfect. And I've been with my woman for 22 years on and off. We might have had a couple of breaks, but no relationship is going to be perfect. And if someone told you that is, that's a lie. Is, do you want it to work? Do you love this person? Mm. Is this where you want to be? And if that's where you want to be and you're willing to make it work, then you'll try and you'll try your hardest and you'll try for each other. You see what I'm trying to say mm. to you is nothing's ever going to be perfect. But no matter what happens, I always love her and she always loves me and I suppose that's why no matter what through the thick and the thin, we're still here today. Mm. You see what I'm trying to say to you? It depends on the both of you. You know what I mean? Some people say, I love you, and I just do the same. Yeah. You know what I mean? Some people mean it. I'm trying to say it to you. But a relationship is about the both of you. It's not one party, because there's always going to be individuals, and expectations is another thing that brings a lot of stress in relationships. Because mm-hmm. you're going to expect something, and then your other half is going to expect something. You see what I'm trying to say to you? Mm-hmm. So it just depends on the individuals, and how much they care about each other and if they really want to do this and I suppose me and my wife really want to do this and we've been doing that mm. through no matter what so what if you could give one piece of advice to a married couple or just to a couple that's out there trying to do this thing what would you say just like just 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 be real and just give it your all and try your hardest man and just remember that a woman there a woman that really loves you is going to be like your mum so she's going to tell you all of this. She's going to get on your nerves because she loves you. She cares. If she didn't, she ain't going to bother waste her time. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm trying to say to you? So at the end of the day, right, uh, really, a man should listen to what his woman has to say because if she was in a problem, like on the battlefield, if she had a gun, she's going to shoot faster than any of his friends because she really loves him no matter what mm. and vice versa. So she had to listen to your partners, man. Even me, sometimes I find it hard to listen to men because I'm ignorant and I want to do what I want to do. And, do you know what I mean? But try to listen to each other, man. Do you know what I mean? Especially if there's love involved and you know that it's genuine. Try to listen to each other because at the end of the day, no one's going to love you more than the other person who says that they love you, especially if you're in a relationship. You know? Mm. That's the only really advice I can do, innit? 
and try not to have too many expectations of other people and always try to speak to each other mm. and let each other know how you feel about what situation in order for it to try and change. Otherwise, nothing will, isn't it? Mm. Mm. I like that. I like love that. wins! Mm. <laughs> 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 no, I love that. Mm. No, it's, yeah. yeah, it's so cute. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I like that. I like that. So we've got, what, we've got eight minutes left of the show. Mm. So, what's next for Nixta? Boy, there's a lot of things getting on, but secretly still there's a lot of stuff in the pipeline yeah there's a lot of stuff in the pipeline people really need to watch this space mm-hmm. how can they watch you you can watch me on where well, my twitter at next the one instagram at next the one or at at dbd dot five dbd dot mdg dot five star dv dot underscore dot underscore all of that five Wait, all of that that's stuff. my name like now, listen so we got I've, DB, I've got lost db dot dbd dot mdg dot five star mdg mdg master the game free my brother yeah oh okay mm, that's what it is oh, so that all mdv one. does that all does it all mean something then south for the british so i normally say south there for the no british my kids and there was queens no used to change their ways they for us to the mdg all day that's my slogan. Say that again, say it slowly. South of the bridges, my yeah. kings and queens need to change their ways. Death and follow us on the MDG all day. Ah! That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I see. That's my slogan. Okay, cool, cool. Mm. So all of your um your social medias all have Nick Star yeah, 1. Nick Star 1 or DBD, MDG, 5 Star. Or on my Facebook, I'm Young Hands. That's the only one. Young who? Different. Young Hands, H-I-N-D-S. Why is Hines? Uh, I've got a double bow last name, oh, Hines okay. King. So, so is that something you had from a long time ago, yeah, that name? When I was that that Facebook page, so. Yeah, long time ago. You know, when you cool. don't know what's going on on Facebook, you just make one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try to be um, obscure, but still right. <laughs> Try to be what? She said obscure. I don't understand how that fits. You mean obscure, maybe? No, I said obscure. How does that go there? Okay, well, I'll give you a better one then, just for your heirs only. Obsolete then. <laughs> does that fit better? No, just just dashes any word. Yeah, but like, I can dash anything like, I want it's to. It's like putting barbecue sauce on all your food or something. Like. But people do do that though. Yeah, but it doesn't always go. Doesn't matter if it goes. They just like barbecue sauce. Like, Gal used to put ketchup on every single thing that he eats. No matter what it is, he put barbecue, um, tomato ketchup on everything. Yeah, I know some people do do uh, it. Just ruining it. Just, <laughs> yeah, 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 just what do you taste? It's just tomato ketchup. Yeah, my kids put salad cream on everything. Yeah, it's it's so thing. offensive. Like, you're going to go and get a good food now. Yeah. Like, go and get a, a good yard food now. Yeah, where's the salad cream? Yeah, it's like, does my food <laughs> not taste what? good enough? So you don't want to taste these, these good, good flavours with scared on in this, Thank my you. guy. There you go. Yeah. Mm. There you go, there you go. Okay. Mm. Okay, so, you said lots of things. Um, when can they, hey, what's the latest, the next track like? What's well, the, at, at the you said you're doing a mixtape, or you done a mixtape? Well, so I've, I've dropped something, it's on my Instagram, it's called the IG Volume 1. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I've got, we've got a couple of videos coming real soon. Like, oh, yeah? Probably have one on the 1st of um, December, hopefully. Well, is it really made already? Nah, it's good. Okay, can we be in it? Yeah, it's not a problem. I'm sure you can. I need, I need to start a row though, you know. Like, yeah, yeah, why are you always offering me out for videos? I <laughs> said me. You said we. Okay, this is what well, you said all the time. Well, 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 if I just said yeah, myself, yeah. if I just said myself, then you'd be like, like oh, you started to bring yourself in and not bring like, me in. Then that's what you'd be saying though. So that's why I have to say, can we be in it? Mm. If I just said, can I be in it? Which I do actually say that a lot too. Can I? Can you I? You say, can I rap in it? Well, I was gonna say, can I be? A, can I be the rapper? Because you get me, my style, my flow's bad, you know. You get me? Cause, cause I'm black, yo. Cause I'm black, yo. Cause I'm black, yo. Cause I'm black, yo. Walking down the street, you know that I'm black, yo. When I rap on the mic, you know that I'm black, yo. Cause I'm black, yo. Listen. <laughs> Hey the play, yo. Hey the game. Listen, oh, she's not ready, man. She's not ready for any. <laughs> yeah, gets me. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's all gravy. It's all about support, though. Anyway, you know what I mean, like, like. 100%. So yeah, you know, and I can, I can okay, put on so an accent. I got one last question. If you had to have a message to your fans, what would it be? One message. One message to my fans. Well, I thank you for all the support. 
like, for all the support. Thanks mm. for all the people who are supporting me, man. Yeah. I've got some big things coming for you, lot. Stay tuned. Like, I promise I won't let you down. You can see that I'm hungry and my five star growls in the mission. I've right got now. some Chris here if you want. <laughs> so you're hungry. <laughs> yeah, I'm hungry for the game. Oh, 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 sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I thought your belly's growling. <laughs> 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 I've got that situation under control right now. <laughs> okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, cool. Okay, well, we've got like three minutes. Three minutes. So let them know one more time where they can find you. Yeah, well, you can find me at, um, at Nixta1 on Instagram or um, dbd.mdg.5star on Instagram. Um, Young Hands on Facebook. You can find um, the IG Volumes 1 on my SoundCloud. That's Nixta and I triple X S T A and I triple X S T A. Yeah, you can just punch my name into um, iTunes, wherever. I've got stuff all over the place, but that's old material. But I've got some new material. It's about to start coming through like Hurricane Katrina, man. So Hurricane Katrina, you know. Yeah, I'm just about to start making a scene. <laughs> mm-hmm. I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. So I'd just like to thank you for coming down to the Late Night Talk Show, which is every thank Sunday you, from 9 you, to 11. Thank, thank you for coming down there problem. and spitting and rapping and chatting and relaxing and maxing with us it's been a pleasure it's been a pleasure Thanks and we wish much. you all the best in your endeavours and your career and what's to come and yeah keep doing your thing keep doing your thing thank you very much yeah you big up yourself as well thank you thank, thank you. you thank you shout out to all the city link city lock city lock sorry it's alright it's alright right. couple did they, they've got me handed out over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He likes to do that. So the people are a little bit tipsy <laughs> with Mixy. <laughs> yeah, do you want to do a little f- outro, though? Do you want to do like a little... Ah, uh, well, yeah. It's your boy, Nix. See you on radio. South for the bridge. My kings and queens need to change their ways. Definitely follow us on the MDG all day. You already know what the Ah! <laughs> Yeah, big up yourself each and every time. Thank you, thank you, thank you again. No problem. Guys, it's the end of the show. It's the late night talk show each and every Sunday, 9 to 11 p.m. It's been good, it's been fun. I'm your girl, Miss Leash. I'm your girl, Letitia, a.k.a. Legs and Licious, (laughs) y'all. (laughs) Raw! Catch us next week where we will... What are we doing next week? We don't know what we're doing next week, but we'll catch you next week. We'll so, have something for you too next week. You know make sure you do. lock in and lock on. There you go. Behave yourself. Be good. Be careful. Be clean. Be safe. Be safe. Be loving and be kind. And just be one of a kind. Yeah? Okay, guys. So, thank you very much. Blessings. One love to you always. And keep it real. Keep it loving. Peace in the Middle East. <laughs>